Hello and welcome to Crafting with Miss Bully. Today we're going to make some peacocks. Very simple peacocks but quite effective I think. And I've also made a blue one. And we're going to have a go at making the blue one. So what you need, toilet roll, some glue, some glitter, whatever colour you want to use, a little bit of white paper for us to make the eyes with, a little bit of black for us to make a beak, paintbrush, black pen, some scissors, I've got a huge pair so you can see them on the video, and some paint. I'm using blue, darker purple, and a lighter purple. So, first of all, we're going to take our plate, it's a paper plate, nice and easy. Oh, and a piece of white paper, or any colour paper, just a piece of paper to put the glitter on. And we're going to cut it in half. And here we go, I've already cut it. I'm going to put some blue paint in my little pot, but otherwise, if you haven't got a little pot, put it straight onto the paper, because the blue, because the uh, paper plates are very thick, Way. and the plate won't go all the way through it will just sit on top so we can paint all that you pause the video finish off painting so while our paper plate is drying we're going to take our toilet roll we're going to cut it in half there we go and now we're going to plate that And now, we're going to paint the toilet roll all the way round. Then once that's done, you leave it to dry. So this paper plate, half of it has all been painted and it's all dry. So now we can do the next stage and for that, I'm going to use the dark purple. Just ready made paints, anything you've got really, it's nice and easy. Whatever you've got at home, in these times it's difficult to go out and buy things. And I'm going to stripe it. And I'm going to start from the middle, so I'm going to put my finger in the middle, just there I think. Better move my bit of paper out of the way so we don't get any paint on that. I want that to stay nice and clean. Make sure you put something on your table though. If you remember, I love my table, so I'm always covering it. In this case, just with old newspaper. So then I'm going to paint it in stripes. One there. And then a little gap. One there, then a gap, one there, and you can put as much purple on as you want to, and as many stripes or as thick or as thin as you want to, and then at the top of each one, when I've done them, I'm going to put a little blob like that. So if you pause the video now, and carry on going. Yours looks like this. Once the toilet roll is dried, like this, we're able to put its eyes and beak on. So for a beak, just a little bit of card there, and we're going to cut a nice triangle. Remember, this is pointing away from me. There we go, big triangle like that. Oh, got one there from earlier. And I'm going to put some glue on it. Oh, a new glue. There we go. So pop that about there. Okay, sorry about that. The doorbell went. I had to uh, rush off and answer that. So things were all in a 
slightly different place now. So what were we doing? Oh yes, we've just stuck on the beak, the beak, and now we cut out some eyes. So we're going to need two eyes. So I'm going to fold it over so that both eyes are the same. Now you can draw around something. Um, a five pence piece would be good. I don't have anything to hand, so I'm going to try it just myself and the scissors. Now again, really carefully with the scissors. Do you want to cut yourself? Notice how I'm moving the paper and I'm not moving the scissors there. Just very carefully cutting a little bit at a time. A little bit. Oops, got stuck on my hand there. Just a little bit at a time. Round in a circle. Oh, sounds like there's a fly trapped in the room. Can you hear the buzzing in the background? Never mind, I'm sure he'll be fine. Maybe he'd like to come and sit on one of our, our peacocks later. Okay, I'm just going to chop that tiny corner off to make it rounder. And if I take them apart, like that, there we go. That's going to be our two eyes. So, whoa, whoops, I just knocked the glue over. Hold on. So, I'm going to put the two eyes on the table like that. I'm going to make a nice black dot in the middle with my black felt tip pen and a big black dot in the middle of that one there we go like that okay let's pick up our dot put some glue on oh so much glue it's stuck to the glue there we go stick that on there oh what's happened to the glue now So remember, if you're doing it on your own and you have any of these problems like I'm having, you can always ask your grown-up to help. There we go. Stick that on there. And stick that one on that side. There we go. There's our little peacock place. So, that's the body. So here we're, we're up to with his nice peacock tail, his peacock feathers and I'm going to use some of this light purple now. Yeah, I'm going to pop that into the paint dish, don't need too much in fact. And as I've been a bit cheeky and not paint, not to clean my paintbrush, I'm going to use a different paintbrush. But in your case, hopefully, when you finish your painting, you rush off and cleaned your paintbrush. So what I'm going to do is put some paint on the circles. And the reason I'm doing that is both to make it colourful, but also because that is what I'm going to stick the blue glitter to. Okay, so I'm going to bring back, hang on to that paint over there because I'm going to use it again in a minute. Bring back in my bit of paper. There. And I'm actually going to fold my bit of paper in half before I even start. It's an old piece of paper that I don't need anymore. Just so that I have a nice line. And I'm going to open my glitter. And I'm going to put it on. Them on there. Oh, that came out a lot. So let's tap, tap, tap. See if it falls off, it lands on my white paper. There we go, a bit more there. There we go, tap, tap, tap. A little bit there. And a little bit on that one. And a little bit on that one. 
There we go. Them again. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, they might need a little bit there, don't we? You missed a bit. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Right, I'm going to move that to one side for a second and I'm going to put all of this and fold it where the fold was. Bring my glitter here. Carefully, very carefully, pour all that back into the pot. That noise you can hear is my fingers tapping on the back of the paper. Very gently. Those little bits we didn't use away. So we've saved it, so we didn't waste any of it. Put the lid back on. Put that over there. Put the paper back over there. Now I'm going to put some nice purpley stripes on. Just anywhere I fancy really. Just making it a bit colourful. Now that's going to dry pretty, oops, pretty quickly. Oh, what happened there? That's better. There we go. Remember this bit here is going to go inside the body, so we don't need to worry about that bit too much. So next, I'm going to sit down. Just easier. Where's my... Ah, uh, oh, here he is. And I'm going to turn him this way up. And with the scissors, I'm going to put a little slot down there, just halfway though. Okay, so in right in the middle. And let me turn it around so you can see right in the middle. And then I'm going to cut halfway down just to there. See? See that cut? Yeah. And then I'm going to turn it around to the other side. Ooh, and I'm going to cut halfway down there too. Okay. I'm just making sure the gap is there. Okay. And then I'm going to put the. Be careful I don't put my fingers where the paint is because I haven't allowed it to dry. But you can allow it to dry and then that way it won't matter. Okay, I'm going to put that on there. Like that. Okay, so I can make it go all the way down to the ground like the others have. I'm just going to use my pen and make a mark here. And make a mark here. Pull it out for a second. And then I'm going to cut along those lines. There we go. There we go, push it all the way up so it stands up. Are you going to stand up? Did I do it far enough? Yes, there we go. So there's our little peacock, along with some of our others. Thank you for working with me today and doing some crafts. If you like it, please like and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye.